All right, it's been what, two days? Mm -hmm. Roughly? Two days. All right, and we are going to check the pre-polish. Yes. So the first thing we have to do is just take the lid off. It's still on. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, it's been about a minute, maybe two. We're gonna open it up, take a look at it real quick. Funny story. <laughs> so, we have a couple Mr. Bottles, mm -hmm. as you need with the vibratory tumblers. Mm -hmm. So I came out the first day, and you're supposed to add a little water to it as you go along. And I sprayed it, and I was like, wow, these rocks, they smell kind of like pizza. <laughs> like garlicky, right? This is weird. <laughs> Ain't think much like of it. onions. <laughs> I came out with Mary the little the next day, and we we tried it again. I was like, "Do they smell like pizza to you? Do the rocks smell like garlic?" She's like, "They do. That's crazy." And then she said, "I wonder, <laughs> is that the garlic water we use for the mosquitoes that we set up last summer?" It's like, "Oh no. Yeah. We've been totally using garlic water on our rocks." <laughs> So our, our, let's just say that our rocks are going to repel vampires. Oh my God. They, it was so garlicky. Ooh. It was pretty funny. <laughs> so we made sure this time yeah. to pull out the plain water. So yeah. No garlic. <laughs> pretty funny. Garlic helps with your rock tumbles. Sure. That'd be a nice clickbaity uh, title. A little garlic, a little garlic oil never hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah. We'll put that as a title for clickbait. Does garlic help your rock tumble? <laughs> All right, it's been another uh, two minutes or so. That looks better. Yeah. All right. Are we ready? Yeah, let's go ahead and unplug it. And we'll dump some water in there. Might as well just unscrew that and just dump it in there. That's one thing I didn't bring out was a decent amount of water. Well, we have we the hose, have hose right there. We'll dump that in there. <laughs> I wonder if we should run it with that much water in it for real quick. Let's do it. Let's just turn it on. And, should we? Yeah, put the cap back on. There's yeah. Some, afraid it might <laughs> splash everywhere. <laughs> run that for another couple seconds. And we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little splashy. <laughs> but it is playing the rocks pretty good. Yeah. We'll let that run another minute or so and then we'll, be, we'll rinse them off. Alright. Let's see. Nice and soupy. <laughs> yeah, that works really well. It's our first time unloading a vibratory tumbler. I know. Oh, it's super thick, man. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, can I look in there? Yeah. Can you see? Oh yeah, that is. <laughs> There's some media in there for sure. We might need a little more water next time during the tumble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> At least when we get it out, you know. Uh huh. Give it a good shake. We think it moved pretty good. I think we had pretty good uh, action on the tumbler. But holy smokes. 
I suggest giving that a shake. There you go. Let's see what happens. There we go. Hooray. <laughs> Is it all the media stuck in the bottom? It's just, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, see guys, this is why we do this. So you can learn from what we do or don't do. Yeah, do or don't do right. <laughs> I think. Still? It's just stuck to the bottom in there pretty good. But you know what? We'll burnish them. Mm -hmm. And that should help clean the barrel, at yeah. least. So now you're going to... Actually, let's put some water in it. Yeah, give it a good shake -a Put the lid back on it. Just like we do with the with the tumble... The rotary, that's the word yeah. I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, right. now let's look at these. I'm going to move so that the water doesn't rinse over me. You want to come on this side? Yeah, come on this side. Let me get the sunlight. You see okay? Yeah. Kind of. We're fighting the afternoon sun, so. Look at those colors. Once in a while when the sun hits it, it's like, woo! Uh, better on not losing volume oh my gosh yeah they look pretty good actually oh those look great yeah we'll get these in some water and we'll take them out into the sun so you guys can see them all right we're racing against the sunlight a little bit here you can see how cloudy that water still is yep but oh my goodness but holy cow let's get a zoom in here man they look really cool Let's take a look at a couple more here real quick. Then oh, we'll this actually... one. Oh my gosh. Look at what got revealed. Look at that layering. Oh, that's cool. Neat. And this one. Just love the color on that. Look I at really the like shiller. that. I like that one a lot too. Because you can kind of see into it. Yep. There's some depth to it. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at one of the... Hoods. Our dog's, dog is coming through. <laughs> She never cares about anything but where she needs to go. Look at this. And you food. Could, look, I'm going to hold that up to the light, maybe. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a little translucent. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, so. And here is another pretty one. We've gotten most of the uh, cracks and crevices tumbled out of these. So I think it would be safe to actually dry at least one of them off and kind of take a look at it. This water is a little funky but I think we'll be yeah, I'll drive right. one of the little guys if yeah. you want to give me the I brought a micro cloth out microfiber cloth out thank you the water's still pretty foggy yeah not surprising considering how thick that was yeah <laughs> but look we're starting just like we would do with the rotary we've got that matte that finish. matte finish sheen now yeah now dip it half of it in the water let's see so we're going for that see the difference we're going for that candy coated look, but dry. Yeah. Here's hoping we get it. <laughs> but we're getting there. So yeah, getting there. We're, we need to burnish them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna run them in nothing but soap and water here for maybe a half hour or so. And then we'll, uh, we'll be back. Alrighty. So we're not entirely sure how to burnish in these vibratory tumblers, but if you've watched any of our videos, you know we burnish between every single stage. Mm -hmm. A couple of reasons why we do it. One, because we're newbies and we're not too sure about how good we are at cross-contamination prevention. And two, because it's just we learned it's a really good way to clean the barrel between stages. 
we started out with only having one barrel to work with ever. So getting that barrel to be really clean and not cross contaminate between tumbles was super important. And as soon as we started running soap and water between every stage, we started getting better results immediately. Yeah. So we're gonna do that with this one too. And one of the things that we realized was when we started, no matter how much we rinsed, when we would do a burnish after each stage and then we would pour the water out, sure, some of it was a chemical reaction, but there was always more grit. Yeah. In those little tiny crevices, probably in tiny nicks in the in the rubber, in the barrel, just things that we couldn't get to just by swooshing. <laughs> yeah, and in our rotary tumbler, we can get our hand into it with a, a soap and water and sponge and really scrub it. I can't get my hand on in this thing. There's no way. I can barely get my hand. Yeah, I can't even. And no that's way. saying something. I got little hands. <laughs> so we're going to throw in... The same soap we always use, we get a really good result with this. There's no additives to it at all. It doesn't take much. That's less than a quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon. Um, there's no you know, scent, there's no fillers, there's no additives that are gonna contaminate the rocks or anything, or your ground soil or anything like that. Right. And then we're just gonna put probably more water than you need. Probably, but that's okay. Yeah. Considering it was a little too thick last time, yeah. a little extra water probably will not hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how much water is in there, but it's more than what you'd probably need Yeah. to do a regular tumble. Then we're going to throw this on the tumbler for about a half hour, and we'll come back and take a look at them again. Yes. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes or so. Here we come in and take a look on the burnish. This would be super soapy. Wow. not soapy at all. I'm actually surprised there's not giant suds in there. Huh. Interesting. I'll take it in and take a look at it. Note of importance. So these spin really fast. That's what makes everything shake, right? So Mary's going to demonstrate something for you. <laughs> what not to do when you have long hair. Get your hair anywhere near said motor. <laughs> because holy crap, that thing re ratcheted her hair up. It was scary. <laughs> yeah. But it was not the most fun, but it, it stopped immediately and we immediately unplugged it and literally I just unrolled my hair. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, but yeah. Note to self, tuck your hair in next time. Hey man, even I've got a ponytail going on. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> that was, we never even thought of that, but now we did. Learn the hard way. All right, let's go in and rinse these off and we'll be back in a second. All right, burnish is done. Wow, they're almost dry on top. Look? Yeah. Interesting. But the water is, can you see the water in there? Yeah, it's gross. Super dry. All right, let's see what happens. Very, very gray. Ooh. So that, that's some of the grit for sure, but it's mostly just a chemical reaction between the, the rocks and minerals and the soap is what we learned. Not to mention the rubber. From the barrel. Well, the barrel looks a lot better. Can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look as chunky. Chunky. I mean, I can get my hand on it. I can still actually feel some grit, some uh, some stuff. So we're gonna have to pay extra attention to that. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not as easy to clean as a rotary tumbler. That's for sure. But. It's going to be good. We have just a polish tumbler in. Yes, we have just a, a polish drum for the mm -hmm. uh, rotary tumbler, for the vibratory tumbler, so that's good. Let's just dump these in here and take a look. Actually, I haven't rinsed this out yet <laughs> from the last time. 
You saw how dirty it was last time. Take them over into the white. And take a look at them. The water looks a lot cleaner now, that's for sure. That's good. Let's just set them down over here. And we'll take a look. All right. I wish I could find that little one that you cleaned. Just so you can see, like, the finish on it. A little dark one? Is that it? Uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I'll dry one on mock and we'll take a look at it. It was... That material for sure. Yeah, it was the lapis for sure. So. It's got a little bit of a shine on it. Can you zoom in on it? Yep. Yeah, a little bit. There it goes. So again, we're going for that. It should look like it's wet, but it's dry. But all in all, they look pretty clean. I don't see any grit or anything in any of the holes, so that's good. I'm going to dry off one more piece. That yeah, one looks that like a neat pretty. one. Yeah. Let's see what kind of finish we have. We shouldn't have a that, you know, mirror finish yet, but we definitely have the matte finish. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's got a subtle luster. <laughs> yeah, and even when you do burnish them, they do look a little better after a burnish. One, it does cl it cleans off whatever grip might be attached, but it does polish them just a little bit. I've, I've seen videos where people will burnish overnight um, and come back, and they've actually got a polish, and they're like, what the heck happened, you know? Because mm -hmm. they haven't even run the polish stage yet. But So there's another dried rock. See that pyrite sparkling. It's got that matte finish, and again, we're going for that. Yeah. So we're going to start the next phase here now. Yay. Okay. So we'll run these. Try again. This is a brand new uh, barrel, and I just rinsed it out real quick. And if you do get a new one, I would recommend doing that because a bunch of little rubber pieces came out. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would really affect your tumble that much, but... And you notice... Kind of don't want them in there. That is labeled polish so that it stays the polish drum only. Which we've discovered is even more important now that we've realized how hard it is to clean the drums. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice to have extra drums and i wish they weren't so expensive these are like 70 dollars a piece for these drums we're even making sure we do the same thing with the lid yeah just to make absolutely sure that we don't cross contaminate but yeah these uh these Listen. drums are not the cheapest no <laughs> they don't they make aftermarket ones for the rotary tumbler for the net geo tumbler that we use we use the professional three pound um, I don't remember how much they cost, but these are about $78 a piece. So, they're not cheap. I wish they were cheaper. <laughs> oh. oh, nice catch. My karate scope. <laughs> ah, <Yeah, wax. laughs> That's what you get for bragging. Yeah. <laughs> It was on shin. Oh, goodness, I'm so excited. Ah! I'd grab it, but I'm trying to keep from dropping the camera again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have had a day, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that hair pull moment, moment was pretty sketchy. <laughs> I ran inside to get the scissors, and by the time I came back out, she was already out. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that could have been a thing. Yeah, let's just say that if that hadn't unraveled as easily as it did, which was, I will admit, totally surprising, then I would have had a really, really cute little chin length bob. 
Oh, it would have been so bad. <laughs> hey, I look cute in a bob. Cutting that hair, though, that would have sucked. Yeah. All right, how much water did you put in? A lot. Right. And that is because? Because you got to drain it. Okay. I'll come back around. Suit the loaf. Put the bag over. Nice. Pretty good, actually. Didn't do too bad. Yeah. Last few. We'll have a <laughs> last few. Excuse me. <laughs> so I got me See what I mean? Editing software. I'm just having a day, guys. All right, throw this on here real quick. Um, our polishing. We're using aluminum oxide again. This is a final polish. We also have some cerium oxide. We've never used it though. So we're gonna stick to the aluminum oxide. This is what we know. And it's what we use for everything. Mm -hmm. And it's worked so far. Yeah. And All right. this is a four pound drum. So we're gonna use two tablespoons. Correct. Of uh, aluminum oxide polish. Heaping tablespoons as it were. There you go. All right. Now we're going to button this up. Yeah. We're going to throw it on there for two to three days. Hooray. I'm not really sure how long it's supposed to take. <laughs> but on a polish, I think you'll be all right. Yep. Going a little longer than necessary. All right, we'll put a rubber band on it, we'll throw it back in, and we will see you guys for the final video, the polish reveal.